Atlas looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Garcia's self-confidence seems to just come through with each step he takes down to the ring. ring walk something special in the air you can just sense it out of him Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Boom Boom's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. The Flash's advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. He better understand that. Good block there by Garcia. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by the Flash. Blocked by Boom Boom. Garcia's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Flash is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. A good block. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Well-timed by Garcia. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. of round one. 
much. Boom Boom's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Close the gap and let your hands go. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slippy sponge. Here we go. Round two is underway. <laughs> Boom Boom's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. You see him holding on. To it, that right hand by Boom Boom. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And he just holds on there. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Nothing there on the punch by Boom Boom. Where's the body kick? Body the flash is back by a left hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Able to dismiss that body shot. Up top with the right hand. Unable to land clean by Garcia. Gets rid of that body shot. Boom Boom's left, landing well. Not able to land the headshot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. About that right hand by the flash. Just what he needed. The bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it. There's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is, you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Don't stand in front of it. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement. Good to go. Good block by Boom Boom. Nice work. Good 
right hand by Garcia. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A headshot blocked. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Proving to be elusive. Move your head. And he engages in the clinch. He tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Last 10 seconds. The Flash is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Keep boxing just like that. You're losing. You're going to take this one. You got any more of these? I'll do the one. Hold it. What do you need? More blood? Yeah. Listen now, you're letting him work. You're letting him control this fight. You gotta impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger and you're punch harder than this guy. Listen. Interesting early rounds of this fight. Garcia is up two rounds to one on your scorecard, Teddy. What do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got him winning. Hey, keep your feet moving! You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, what an exchange! He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Good way to protect the midsection. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep moving! Keep 90 moving. seconds to go in round number four. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Boom Boom's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows is he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Move your head! 
Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Woof, woof. Boom, boom. He's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end his night. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Boom Boom's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Hey, relax. Relax. Doing great. Keep it. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he... Boom, boom! He's ruined with that punch right there! There you go. Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Uppercut! on to his opponent. Garcia is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Solid straight right hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Time. Relax, relax. with that headshot. Garcia has given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. End of round number five, last ten seconds. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that yab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? 
I need you to keep moving. All the eyes are on him to start this round. Boom Boom's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the Flash. Garcia's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. fine and then he got caught well that's the problem was going too fine he got a full sense of security the other guy wasn't thrown back he took for granted and bang you can't take for granted in this ring halfway through round six a well-placed left hand up top The flash is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. There you go. Looking good. Look good. Keep doing what you're doing. Come on, keep focused. And now just keep wasting away moment. some time with that clinch. He missed that uppercut. Boom Boom's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not Keep being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. So he puts forth another punishing display. No Garcia's dominating this fight, fight from start to finish, and the end is getting near. Yeah, and his opponent's looking like he's got Everlast written on his forehead. I mean, he looks like a bag. Yeah. You're done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. You gotta watch the water. Won that round, all right? It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And he ties up on the inside. Flash is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him.
And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Halfway through the seventh round. And he's Keep holding. Keep moving. Keep moving. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. of it to the body but came up empty. Garcia's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. The Flash is having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting them off bounds. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spot. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. That was good. You took a lot out of him that round. Keep that up. Here you go. You gotta breathe. How you feeling out there? You're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? More than one. Keep your hands. As we start round number eight here, Boom Boom's in a real tough spot. Not only is he down on your scorecard, I mean, that's obvious to see that he's losing the fight here through seven rounds, but he doesn't have the look of a guy that can get himself back into the fight. Oh, this is what it's about. I mean, who said that this was an easy business? He might have to be reminded of that. Who said this was an easy business? It wasn't going to be about just when you had to lead, when you had the right opponent in front, when you were hitting the heavy bag. It was going to be about, always was going to be about these kind of days. Make up your mind. What are you going to be? Fine defensive effort by Garcia. Boom Boom's just a sitting target here now. I mean, you, you know where to find him each and every time you come on the attack. Yeah, he's very predictable. He needs to get on those feet a little bit, start to change his place in that ring. The flash is showing you a little defensive skill there. I'm move away from that punch. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Keep working the body. at him with a left hand. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Come on, keep focus! He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Come on. Let's 
Jeez, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Another round gets underway. It gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Relax, relax. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Boom Boom. Good defense just covering up down low. Miss that shot up top. Go, go, go. Protecting his head well with his guard. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. And that's the end of round nine. Garcia is well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Listen. I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. I think those 60 seconds served him really well. He looks fresh and ready to go after it here.
But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Now he ties up there. Keep your distance. Keep working. Again. Boom Boom's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Halfway through round 10. Good defensive skill. Garcia's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Nice work. Nice work. Fix it up, fix it up. Yourself. Go, go, go. Boom Boom's able to avoid that punch. Stop. Hit the body. Come on, keep focused. Very nice defensive guard there. Things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly... There it is! What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Garcia's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Blocks that belt line well. Calm down now. Calm down. Breathe. Breathe. Here you go. He got you with your hands down. Come on. Hands up. Hands up. Strickland, keep Strickland, don't stand in front of him. This is done, he's done. Eleventh round now underway. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard. Boy, he's got a comfortable lead according to you, Teddy. Yeah, he just sat and had a very nice dinner. You know what? Don't be a garbon now. Finish up, clean yourself a little bit, use your napkin. Walk away from the table, go digest your meal. Have your win. Garcia is trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. <laughs> Decide to trade there. The flash's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. 
Halfway through this 11th round. Lots of punches and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's gonna stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Now hugging on the inside. seconds of this 11th round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. This is it last round. Last round, bro. You need to get into a brawl with this guy. That's what he wants. Don't give it to him. Nice work. He's hurt. You want to win? You work too hard for this. Go out and throw some punches. Don't fight this fight. Jab and move. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Keep working the mind. to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot <laughs> nice block by boom boom Go down. Boom Boom's always gaining momentum and starting to pour it on. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep your head moving. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Halfway through this 12th and final round. of this final round of this fight. Nice! Not able to land the headshot. Yeah. <laughs> 
He scored well after being hit himself. Finished with the hook. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on the post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the victory. A very good night by Garcia. I don't think it was ever a question of who. It was always going to be how. Knockout or decision. We get a good decision here. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.